Uh-huh. So Eric Lady's character, I guess, is going to take operational control. We have to figure out a way, story-wise, where it makes sense for his character to be on the ship still. I thought you were going to say he's going to take uh, 5D 200 damage. He could guard the dropship. There is... Well, uh, so if you guys are heading off to that, that cave, the scouting group already has a a camp set up. They set right, up a scouting Before we leave, I want to have the scouts, or not the scouts, the, uh, the techs change my weapons all to green colored. Because it's St. Patrick's Day. Sure. Green is the best, yeah. All your weapons are green. Granted, I only use one. Can only use one in this mission, so yay. Yeah. Uh, Tess, I went over your character right now, uh, added some talents. That's not really final, but it's like the majority of it, so you should be much better. All right. Too lazy to level yourself up? I see how it is. <laughs> Making Dan do all the work? Pretty much. Oh. I ju I didn't say anything that Dan needed to do. I just said, if you want to look at my character, you can, and I left it at that. Oh, I found the, yeah, I found the option where you can create characters now. It's actually not in this game menu. I have to back out, and then there's a global setting button that I set. You guys should be able to actually create characters whenever you want now. Um, oh yeah 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 yeah. Oh, nice. I see that. yeah. Cool. Yeah, because I was like, that's something you guys need, rather than asking me all the time for permission. Yeah. I was like, you have permission, just don't uh, don't abuse it. Like, if I see a hundred characters in there, like, okay, you're clocking up the characters now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Within reason, create as whatever characters you want. Have you Playable heard of characters. Foundry Virtual Tabletop? What is that? Okay, so imagine roll 20, except... You buy it for $50 one time. You then host the server yourself and can change the game, add modules, do whatever, all on your own without having to pay a monthly fee or anything like that. That might be better. What? Uh, actually, yeah, Unfortunately, have... it doesn't have um, this system. So, Right. Uh, I do have Tabletop Simulator. Do you guys have that? Yes. Yeah, it gets kind of laggy, do. though. It's a bit of a clunky uh, thing. It's not really meant for sheets. Is it not? Does it not have sheets? Oh, it, it does, but it's really awkward and hard to use them. Also, they just have like iPads in the thing, so you could just use Roll Twenty in the game itself, which is <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. Well, uh, we could do, at some point, if we can make a discussion about this, of, like we can do a session in the future where we do tabletop sim and roll 20 combined, like to roll, or not to, to look at our character sheets, and then we hmm. roll in game. That's, that's just an option. See, if I were to play tabletop simulator, I would hook up my Valve Index so I can VR. Because that's the only way I'm ever going to be able to enjoy a tabletop Warhammer game to its full potential. Because I, mean, yeah. I have a VR setup as it's, well. It's cheaper to use a VR headset than it is to <laughs> buy the game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> do you want to spend a hundred dollars, maybe a thousand, or do you want to spend four thousand minimum? <laughs> no, I want to spend. Paint everything yourself. Want to spend yeah. uh, forty thousand? Yeah, basically. People have done that, and even more. God. I can't imagine how expensive the ships are. How expensive are the Titans and all that? Oh my god. Uh, they are first to make them expensive. Considering too. considering a lot of their bigger models are like a foot tall. Yeah, I they are a lot. Yeah, it's all artificial when they do it too, because it costs them pennies to make their their products. They have machines that just spit them out. It's pretty hilarious. These days they do. They didn't used to. No, yeah. they, they yeah they used to have metal 
and really awesome looking stuff. It's now just it's like California plastic. and water, though. The problem's been long gone, but they're just not going to fix it because they're making money. Right. All right. Uh, so um, the scouts have established a campsite just outside the cave hole uh, because you guys are wanting to go there and investigate that next. So you guys have a drop drop point to go at if you guys want to you said leave Ericlades Air there protect it yeah sure, he can, that he way. can be our escape point he can create the infinity gate for the portals back to the ship yeah plus that way if this ends up going more than one session he does we don't have to find a way excuse to get him down here also right. that right you guys should be on the map now Yep, Eric Clay's just be chilling. So you guys are at campsite now. Is this like the vacate? This is just like a building. This a is a the campsite. This is the campsite that they drop down temporary shelters, temporary shelters and supplies. Uh, there's at least ten guardsmen in the area as well. Uh, they're currently inside the the bunker, uh, eating their vittles. Yeah, probably the best. For, it's probably oh the boy, best. canned guardsmen, yum yum. Yep. Mm. Corp starch. Let's go. Yep, and and they're uh, relaying communications back up to the the main main ship uh, that dropped you off, uh, which was your vessel. It dropped off you guys by a drop ship, and then both have left the area uh, due to enemy patrols. So they say just lay low, and they're gonna ra radio silent your ship is as they go back into stealth mode. Basically, Virlo is going to be our eyes and ears and going to be scout, our scout for this mission. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. Uh-oh. Oh, no, <laughs> giant idiot guardsman. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd like that. Uh, Thank you. And, and we'll just be basically co well, not covering him, but be there if needed. As like a military assets i guess you can say right all right i'm going to do a surface navigation check to see where i need to go north yeah the the, oh. the guardsmen point you north okay then i they have go they north. haven't they, they tell you they haven't dared venture any further you know based on <laughs> all the things they've encountered and whatnot prior to this so they're not they don't want to even set foot in that spooky shit they're actually super su superstitious by it a little right. bit so let's see oh that's a long distance yep yep gotta pull up my unfortunately movement. I can either make the map really really huge or I uh, change the distance because this ain't a this is not a combat encounter yet so combat encounters I keep them one meter keep it all the fairness so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. alright Where, wherever you go we'll follow yep they tell you it's due north they said you can't can't miss it they said there'll be some breeze um some light foliage, and then you see a giant rock formation. Made of rock. Yeah, right, and they said they there is some sort of shielding or some something, but they haven't ventured any closer than they have been from a distance. Shielding around the cave itself, or before the cave? entrance, entrance. They're only able to see it because they could see the the bluish glow as the shield would pulse. It kind of like what they say, kind of looks like a fabric. It's an energy shield or something there, some kind of barrier. The fabric of this speaking. space time continuum. Yeah, I'm gonna start sneaking now. That's a good idea. 
Are you recording too? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm going to go for the silent move check. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, right. I'm also going to be... Right, I forgot. Oops. Uh... Hey, you're good? I am not good. You just stomp loud like... <laughs> through the mud. <laughs> uh, I will give you a fate point to re-roll that. I don't think we're in a position to really care about that yet. We're only approaching it. We're not inside of it. We don't we haven't seen anyone yet. I am I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. Alright. Risk it for the biscuit. Okay. Okay you've spotted. I would like to scrutinize. And yes, see it there's... is spotted indeed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello, fellow people. Kicking as you kick up rocks and other things that you mush through the ground oh, and everything. Slightly <laughs> wet. On the speaker. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, my bad. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna scrutinize the cave and see if. Uh, I can detect any kind of force field or fuckery that will fuck with us if we try and go through, yeah? Sure. So you do see, you do indeed see what that guardsman told told you about. You see, it looks like a shimmering, almost like a energy blanket of some sort, just kind of like pulsating, waving. Looks very, very translucent, but very faint, but your your sensors can definitely pick it up. Um, is it anything like that, uh, the last thing that I walked into and almost killed myself in? You don't see those giant pillars around, no. Yeah, but the you force no field idea. itself, is it anything Doesn't like look, that? No, the other one was completely invisible to you, the last one you saw. This one is visible. I, uh, I find a large stone on the ground and pick it up and throw it into the force field to see what happens. You see it impact that area and stop midair and then drop to the ground. It's not on fire or anything, is it? Turn into slag? You don't see anything like that. Alright. About where was the barrier? Right at the entrance to the cave? Or... Yeah. Uh, here, I'll draw a line for you. Give me a second. Where is the tool? I'll draw. See that? Yep. Yep. Hmm. Can I look around the edges in the rocks near the barrier? Sure. Yeah, I'll also look at. Uh, yeah, just of the rocks. Okay, you're gonna scrutinize. I am not good at scrutiny. Uh oh. Uh, oh, I am yeah, good at scrutiny. I don't see How shit. I rolled. I'm gonna pay point that. Okay, you oh, find. Like you find a symbol on the furthest rock over here. I let everyone else know. An alien symbol you've never seen before. You find Persuar. You find an alien symbol at the other end as well. All right. In fact, I'll mark them. Are they just buttons? No, I'm just marking them. The rocks that have the symbols. If you want an actual shape of what it looks like, scrutinize. Alrighty. It's something smashable. So, Basura, yours is kind of like... Mine's an O with some umlauts and an L. <laughs> some more umlauts. <laughs> I'm sorry, my, I don't, I'm using a damn mouse, but it... You see... One, two, three, four dots, a big, big circle, and a line...
and then you, Black Shield, you 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 see this. This is what you see. You you roll to see what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the line. Yep. Mm -hmm. Travel oh. triangle to him. I wonder if these two fit together. Can I poke the dots that push the middle one? It's literally just a carving on the rock, basically. Oh. If it's a symbol. Can sort. we can we pick the rock up and kind of turn it around, see if there's anything else around it or under it? Go for it. I uh, can assist you. Rock's fairly big, about the size of Moss Head. Any modifiers? Uh, strength check. Plus yeah, for 20. the for plus twenty. Okay. Okay, you go to pick up the rock, and you hear a click as you pull pick it up. I'm watching the force field. Does it do anything? Doesn't do anything. Can I look around for more symbols? Sure. So you find another one, and it is. Hold up, let me get, let me get it. <laughs> find this. That negative point eight. Uh, Karnoth, you f you find Asmoth pointing at that derpy one. Uh, you see that it's like this. in the middle. A little more intricate than what he was describing. Hmm. And you have the rock in your hand. Um, I placed the rock next to the... Not in the original place, but next to the original place. So you put the rock where? Just on the ground. Okay. Next to where it was originally. Okay. I would like to do... Or you scrutinize the rock you're holding over there, the triangle one. Uh, yeah, I scrutinized the triangle one. There. I would like Oop. to do a lore check to see if I can figure anything out about the symbols. Would that be Zeno's lore? Yeah. Alright. Illuminati! Oh. Uh, by the way, uh... Star guess. symbols. They're what? Yeah. Star uh, symbols. You Constellation symbols. Ah. Constellation symbols. Uh, you have a talent called Foresight. You can spend 10 minutes to gain a plus 10 on your int based tests. Uh, and int is something you use for uh, Xenos Lore, for example. Right. But I did succeed. Yeah, I'm just letting you know. Got it. Thank you. Alright, so what am I able to uh, glean? So that's, that these, these are constellations uh, of an. Uh, of an alien species, possibly the old ones, you're thinking. Yeah. So, you're not too familiar with it, but you're definitely certain these are constellation symbols. Brothers, these are alien constellation symbols. Oh god, they're astrologists. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Quick, find the Taurus. Find the... <laughs> find the Taurus symbol. I'm a Capricorn, personally. If anybody asks, just say you're a Gemini. They'll leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> you looking anywhere else around the force field? Does it yeah. extend to only the entrance, or does it extend to, say, over here? The entire entrance, so that you cannot get in. But yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, we, we mean, is it like a bubble around the entire rock area? No, you can, look, you can explore the top of the rock, sides of the rocks if you want to. That's fine. Okay, so it's only at the cave. Okay, okay. Yeah, only at the cave entrance. You can't get inside. All right, I'll look around over here on the other side then. Yeah, I'll also... Uh, scrutiny. Oh, I see a rock. You don't see anything of note exploring around the outer perimeters of the thing. You just find these three rocks with these three symbols.
You searching around the entrance as well? I'm gonna try and roll a logic test. Ah, uh -huh. I don't ah, understand it. You're, you, no, no, your guy is going to take that rock. Oh, no. And then, based on the other rock, you're gonna say, certainly, since that rock failed, this rock must go through, and you throw one of the rocks at the shield. Or you're you're thinking that. Hmm. Oh. That this is and what you should do. I uh, approach a pile of rocks to do exactly that. Oh no no the symboled rock because the, the oh, unsymboled the symbol. oh the symbol. yeah hey. you're gonna take the symboled rock and toss it at the shield. You're thinking that's possibly what could be it. That's what you're thinking logically. So yeah. is is Karnoth going to tell anyone about this plan? He like he just uh, looks at the pile of rocks. He looks at this uh, carved rock. He looks at the force shield, and he goes up and he uh, heads towards the carved up rock and picks it up. I uh, I do scrutinize to see if I notice this or no. It would be awareness. It would be a scrutiny. You're trying to see what he's doing. Trying to see if he's deducing anything. Well, I need to see if I even see him. You doing see him anything. doing it. <laughs> I see him doing it. So I'm gonna scrutinize. That's what you're trying there, man. And you you <laughs> understand that he's going to toss that at at the force field because he just did it with the other one. Karnoth, no, this is a terrible idea. You should not do that. I, uh, like, I pick up the rock when you say that I'm still holding it in my hands, and I'm like, oh, and I let it just drop down on the, uh, on the ground. Put it down. Oh. What are the, what are our ideas to get past this barrier? Uh. Hmm. Could I do... So are these alien constellations? Did we figure that out? Yes. Yes. Alright. And they're on rocks. And one of them made an all will click. I would like yeah, to... I would like to do a Xeno's lore to... See if I can decipher not necessarily what the constellation things are, but how they could be used to open this or raise the force field, get rid of it. Can Kay. I do that? Sure. Alright. You're thinking possibly it's some sort of key or code or access that these rocks represent. You don't know much about the ancient ones, the old ones. You do know they... Uh, you heard about they like, kept highly important things behind traps and puzzles in certain areas, certain instances. But it's like a vague thought. Right. Can I look closer at all these symbols and try and figure out what they uh, mean? Mm hmm. Xeno solar wise? Sure. They're lower all forbidden. So you, you definitely know their constellations and the nearby constellations around this system. Oh, that's what that's all you're able to discern from that these these three rocks here. And they seem to be point be pointing in cardinal directions uh, on this planet as well. I would Arth. like to look up into the sky and see if I can see anything like these constellations in the sky itself. You look up, said, you see it's bright day. <laughs> oh. Said, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> you said they were pointing in cardinal <laughs> directions, right? Yeah, they, they, these symbols, you guys know from your intel, they'd be pointing cardinal directions on from this planet. That, Can I walk around to over here and check to see if there's another one? Sure. Oh, crit success. Amazing. You don't find anything up up top here. You do your best. You search. You see nothing like those other three. Yeah, so we found this one, this one, and this one. That's all we found. So we, that's all we have. 
Are you doing the same with the actual entry gate as well? You're looking around to see what you can deduce? One of other, other uh, uh, possibilities to combine them. Combine their uh, inscribings to form a single picture, perhaps. Or we have to put them in the right place in the sky. Or, in a r wait, how? Well, put them. Well, we could wait till night. <laughs> <laughs> or, is, yeah. or, hear me out. There's only three to the power of three combinations, which is, uh, I believe, nine. No, 81. There's 81 combinations. Mm, no, three with three things. You can't double nine. stack the same symbol on itself in this one. Oh, yeah, you're right. So there's nine combinations. Yeah. So uh, we can try, we can just brute but force here's, it here's and try thing. all nine combinations. Here's the, here's, here's the problem with that, though. Yeah? These are old ones. And it's a puzzle. <laughs> what happens if you get it wrong since there's only nine combinations? You run uh, out of nine lives? <laughs> uh, you, may have, you may have a point well, there, sister. Well, let's look at this way. So, three uh, points, a huge point in the middle, maybe four four points on this and like a f fifth circle five circles and like a sixth big one so like maybe it's a uh, three four five <laughs> it's a combination of their luggage <laughs> ah we need to find one and two i look yeah. around for a symbol two over here <laughs> or symbol one i mm. mean we did already look around we didn't find anything you don't find anything. Well, there's nothing over there. Uh, now I'm satisfied. I checked around the entire pack. I think we uh, wait until nighttime. Line the constellations up. What do you guys think? We are not pressed for time. We can do that. I radio our spaceship. We can also do in that. Orbit. Yes. To nuke the sun well, so that it's dark. And well, we can they're see. radio silent. You can radio base camp. Sure. Yeah, the the, the, the team said they'll come back uh, in a couple hours, the the actual ship, to check on gotcha. you guys. So you guys got four hours until the next rendezvous. Well, I guess I uh, radio the scouts, see if they've been taking star charts or whatever. Uh, I tell you no. They're on assignment to look for for alien uh, installations and things of that nature on the ground surface. They have no interest in the stars. They tell you. <laughs> Worth a try. What about do we have do we have a pilot in our ship currently? A pilot. Pi oh, no a pilot. Oh. Pi pi no, all, uh, all aircraft have left the area. Oh. You just have the ground scouts, the, the scout team, ten guardsmen, ten elite guardsmen, mind you, like the, the top elite guys. So we rendezvous in four hours. What time is sunset? Uh, so they say this planet, it's, it doesn't really, <laughs> you're going to be waiting about a year. Oh my god. It rotates very slowly. So we, we we do have some time. Oh <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> okay. I just had a really stupid idea. I pick up a rock <clears throat> and I throw it at the barrier again. And um, look at the barrier to see if the symbols are on the barrier. Like maybe they just wrote the password on the barrier. You see the rock hit the barrier and you just see it hover there for a second and drop to the ground. You don't see anything past that, or do oh uh, scrutiny? I guess minus twenty because you're trying to observe for that, right? Yep. Hey, Ooh. I rolled better. Hey, yeah. Uh, you see that the shield kind of flickered, it's light blue thing dropped. 
as that rock impacted it. And it looked like all the inertia of that rock was just taken out of it, and it just drops. Like the gravity takes over. Boop. I say we brute force the puzzle. Okay, I pull out a melt -a bomb No, oh, wait, not no, like not that! This way. <laughs> I mean, what do we know? So, by picking up the rock, something activated, something clicked, definitely. Maybe we uh, have to swap the symbols around to be the right pattern? Uh, what if we just lift them from their places first? Because... Already? Yeah. So I'm just Where gonna was the third one? Was it just yeah, like right here? The, the third where's one's on the rocks. It was on the rocks. Where? It's yeah, but where? Right here. Oh, here. here. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I'll just pick them up and just place them near, uh, nearby. So we take all of the symbols off the rocks. We just I just pick up the whole rock and just like place it nearby. Yep. You hear a click. And I go up to this rock, and I do the same. You hear another click. And, like, the third one is also, like, away from... Yeah, you already clipped, you already pulled it off. Yeah. Uh, I pick up, like, a regular rock from the ground and toss it at the barrier. That's the same thing you did before. Hits the barrier, all the inertia looks like it's zapped out of it, falls to the ground. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, I take. Okay, let's let's do. That. Well, so we know which one's which. Yeah. One, well, two, the good three. Thing, the good thing is that it didn't kill us <coughs> by doing this. Whatever this was. So, so that's a good sign. I put rock two in place one slot, rock three in place two slot, and rock one. In place three slot. Nothing I happened. Carry, Two, three, one. Uh, okay. Yeah, you don't you don't even hear anything this time as you're putting all those places down. No clicks. No clicks. No nothing. Where do the clicks imagine uh, like, originate from? From the rocks themselves, or from the place that we're at? Scrutiny minus twenty. You probably heard a click of some sort. Oh my god. As you're picking up the rocks, they were emitting from the rock itself. The the rock that you're picking up. Whatever rock it was, uh, you're fairly certain it emitted from the rock. And Moth, you're certain it came from the cave. <laughs> hmm. I think it's originating from the rocks. So I look up and down the barrier for slots to put the rocks in. Okay. Minus 20. Oh, I definitely found them. Hunt you found... Yeah. You find... Here, I'm going to put it down. You find over on this side, you find what appears to be something for a rock going to. Nice. Hmm. I pick up one of the rocks and do you do you tell the rest of the team to bring a rock there or like Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm oh, okay. convinced this right here this is one of the yeah. slots and we need to find the other two. So so I pick up the a rock, two. yeah, uh, like I'm going over to this spot and I'm just gonna just just think to myself, just 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 for a moment. Just is this a good decision? Yeah, this is a good decision. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oop, that was with a plus 20. That should be uh, minus 20. Minus 20. Yeah. So it's still 1.4. 1.4 4 from that. So it's yeah. 1.4. So I'm just happily like carrying it over to the spot. Okay. You get one chance there, Brasora. What? I'm the one who said put the rock there. This is a good oh, that's idea. That's true. That's true. I thought All you were right. observing or something. Yep. No, no, I'm, I'm uh, looking for other spots to put the other two rocks in. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> do that again, I mean. All right. 
Virla, do you want to do anything about it, or do you want to let it happen? I mean, it's not touching the barrier. It shouldn't be anything wrong with it, right? Okay. I'm uh, quietly observing these this uh, charade as it's happening in real time. Um, I'm putting the rug down. Do you have a fate point? I do have a fate point. Okay. Do you wish to use it? Uh, Depends on what the usage is for. If Boko is telling you, I you know. wish to use I know. a fate point. I know, I mean, but I want to hear it. I'll use a fate point for him since I got so many. Okay. And it was my thing anyway. So as you place that rock down, that shield turns from the blue to red. And basically blast some sort of energy in your direction. Um, hmm. You're going to have to roll 1d100 and see what limb you lose, I guess, at this point. Oh. Whoa. Rather than dying, yeah, that's the alternative. Fate point, don't die. But something bad happens. Let's hope it's not your chest or head that comes up in the roll. I mean, if it's head or chest, you should probably just re-roll it anyway. Um, I fate think point that's it. head. I think you can fate point it if you want. 11 is my right arm. Okay. So my right arm comes off. Flying loose. Yeah, it comes off. Uh, and that rock that's... that rock is expelled from that that place. So you are <clears throat> bleeding pretty heavily. I imagine you what kind of medical treatment you guys have on hand. Let me see. Uh, I do believe their Doesn't... suits come with the thing. Yeah, yep. the, doesn't a Space Marine suit just automatically seal if that happens? Let me see. Let me, let me read up. Let me read up. Critical damage, critical damage. Well, I know Space Marines can't bleed out, so... Yeah, let's see. 250... Yep, yeah, they have a lot of protection against bleeding out. So this was energy damage, right? Straight up energy damage, yes. A number beyond calculation. Insta death. Uh, but we can do a number, I guess. So I guess I'll roll. I'll just do. Let's do that. Oh, sorry, not that. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There you what go. Are you doing, doing no, I'm just saying we, we could do that instead and just kill you outright. Or, you know, you just take your right arm off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Nobody's I'm contesting just... the arm thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's um... just trying to figure out what it'll affect him with. Well, you can always put a robot, robot bebop arm on at some point. Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. But for right now, he doesn't have an arm. So he's looking up what the negatives for not having the arm are. Hold my beer. Oh, wait. There are multiple uh, options for my arm, uh, arm's fate, uh, in the Death Watch channel. Uh, some are less severe, some are more severe. Uh, let me see blood loss. I'm sure it's nothing. Well, we can roll. Oh, there's a table for that. Fix. Go ahead and roll on it and see what happens to your arm. No, that's like, uh, well, um, that's just critical damage. Is it? It's like what you would. Like, basically, I just took so much damage, my arm came off. Uh, mm -hmm. But I didn't die from that. So, question is, how? What's the, what's the level of damage I suffer from that critical, sure. critical, on that critical table? Yeah, uh, just roll on that table, I guess. Hold on. Just roll uh, 1d10, maybe. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. Yeah, so we do not suffer from blood loss, yes. Okay, so that doesn't matter. Energy, energy. I guess I'll just roll between 7 and 10, uh, which is yep. going to be just a 1d3. Sure. Uh, so that's going to be 8. Uh... Injury sears from my arm to the shoulder, causing the limb to be se severed from the body. 
Uh, I must make a toughness test, yada yada. I take 1d10 levels of fatigue and suffer from blood loss, which I don't suffer from. Uh, let's see. I take 8 levels of fatigue. Yikes. Which means... Fatigue, fatigue, fatigue. It's surprisingly hard to find fatigue. Uh, right. Oh, don't worry about it then. Fatigue levels? Yeah. Isn't it near movement? No, no, no. As in, like, what? It, what do they do? Ah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I can get the ability to restore removed limbs, but uh, I'd have to burn a fate point permanently. I and see. we'd both take 1d5 insanity points. Permanently. Can I do... Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, I can take a insanity, but it's okay. Yeah, we don't have to do it yet. We're not... In oh, that would have to be after next session, I think. Oh, or it can be when you retreat, because you guys don't I, have I to don't, I don't, I never got the ability to do it with XP, so next oh, time okay. we have a chance to level. Sweet. Okay. So now you know the price of failure. Indeed we do. Okay. And Moth, you're looking for other areas these things can go in? Yep. And what, what number was that you put on that, what rock number? That first one on that area? Is that what you did? One to the that rock place? I think he put three there. Oh, you put uh, no, I picked up one rock and placed it. Uh, Which I think one? Uh, it was number two that you moved to number one spot. Yes. So, yes. The number two is gone. Well, it's not gone. It just got flung out of that. It's on the ground still. It just got... Oh, it's still intact. It's still intact. You just were unattacked and that rock was moved somewhere else. Very well. It just rolled. It rolled off that spot like something pushed it off of it. Ah, see, no, I thought the rock is what took his arm off. But no, it flung away real fast. No, no, no. <laughs> the shield, the energy shield. You saw it like condensed into like a beam, blasting at that at him. But you saw the the thing go from blue to red, and then blast in his direction. Like, it just emit a bunch of energy and took his arm off. Ooh, actually, hold on. Let's... Oh, I took more than my toughness bonus. I'm going to go unconscious for 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, uh, actually, no, it's going to be 10 minus... Oh, three minutes. I'm going to be unconscious for three minutes. So anyone picking him up? The only way to pick him up is uh, Tesseract. What are you going to do here? What? Your buddy oh, went boy. unconscious. Oh. Yeah. I'm unconscious for three minutes right now. Uh, I'm going to hoist uh, Dan's character. I'm going to pick him up and do a fireman's carry out of danger. Basically over to here, I guess. Sound uncertain. All right, Bersar, what are you doing now? Looking around for more slots, I guess. Okay. There we go. And I stand guard over... Uh... Since you found the f first one, sort of, you're certain it was the... Certain it was it. Uh, give yourself a plus 20 on this next one. Ooh, alrighty. Since you know generally what you're looking for. Hey, that's technically a success. Find another one right there. Nice. And that's all you see. I guess, I guess the third one must be somewhere in the middle, so I look for the middle one. Okay. Still plus 20? Or... Yep. You don't see another one. You just see the two. Hmm.
What are you doing? I'm still reading on the fatigues. Uh, Did you don't need to do much. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You're knocked out, so we'll just... You're knocked out. You're a bit, a bit sleepy. You're a bit groggy when you yeah, wake up, of course. Uh, uh, see you in a while, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Moth, what are you doing at this point? You see the two the two placements for these things. Uh, I guess I'll look in the placement a bit more. See if they have, like, a matching symbol pattern. Okay. Ah, yes. On um, the first one, you see uh, four dots in a line. Obviously, that must be it for this one. Oh. Unless you want a fate point and re-roll that. I can give you one of my fate points. I haven't spent I've still got any. five. All right. I'll re-roll it. God damn. You can also just go there and just inspect it yourself as well. That is true. I'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, nope. It's definitely the four symbol one. Yeah, it's a four simple one. Uh... Oh, better check the other one then. All right. So, Virlo, you look at it and you see that the pattern looks to be dot, 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 and then in the center, um, some sort of weird symbol. So, three dots and a weird symbol in the center on the left one. Ooh, that's a five for the right. Nice. Okay, and so on your I moth? correct I correct Brazora on the uh, well. First of yeah, all, does Brazora even tell me? Four yeah, dots on it's it's rock one, it's right? And slot one. Moss, you see on that one line dot dot below dot above dot below dot above dot below dot above. So there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six dots in the line. Them. Here, I'll draw them for you. Do, do, do. Where's that stupid tool? Oh, there it is. Safe. So, this symbol on the right is line. And I'll freehand it. Dot, 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 dot. And this one over here is dot, dot, oop, dot, dot. And then you see kind of like this in the center. All right, you see that? Uh huh. Yep. Hmm, so this is six, and that is four. This is technically six. When we placed that oh, on the six, <laughs> it didn't work. Yeah. It blew up in your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that doesn't match. Hmm... I'm running out of ideas here. Is Virla trained in logic? Uh, ye yes. You could try a roll that to see what's the best course of action is. All right. That, I think. I'm gonna do a logic roll. So on the one you're looking at, Moth, and looking at the other symbols, uh fairly certain that the triangle one is a circle over something and three points pointing at something. So you're assuming rock three goes to position one. Yeah, that makes sense. Which means rock one would go to position two. Unless it's rock four. You guys searched, so you didn't see anything like that. You searched extensively and got like mega mega scores. So these are these are it. So Vila, what are you doing? 
uh, I use, I try to uh, use facts and logic to make sense of all this. Yeah, I told you what you, did you not hear what I said? Oh, I thought you were talking to Moth. No, I was talking to you. Your character observing your symbol, the three dots of the, with the weird symbol in the middle. Yeah. Your assessment is that you need the rock with the three points and the circle in the middle because they're pointing at three points and the, and the symbol in the middle. Ah, okay. That's your that's your assessment that it's it's that's what it's doing. So, in that case, I'm going to go over to that rock, pick it up, and then try and place it into there and see what happens. Are you going to fade point? Uh, yes. Is that even a question? <laughs> okay. All right, I fate point. <laughs> I'm just asking if you're gonna get it ready because the 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 thing glows green. Oh. <laughs> God you. damn it, Poco! Yes, <laughs> <laughs> obviously you did there. Uh. Okay, glows green. Should huh? we, oh, what uh, did I miss? Huh? I think we so. figured out the key. Should yes. we get you an arm? before we proceed? Before we open this up? Garnoff looks around. Is, is, the, is the arm completely gone? Or is it just like laying around somewhere? It is completely vaporized. Completely vaporized. Okay. Um, that puts me in a bit of a predicament, doesn't it? Yes, because uh, you'll need to get your armor repaired too. I do have Unless a we get you a cool arm. robo. I can hold my sword or my shield, if need be. I think uh, that depends on the mission's parameters. Well, we don't know what's in there, and I'd rather you have two arms. <laughs> I can take them. <laughs> but at the same time, um, it would be most... Uh, logical to retreat for now uh did the barrier go down or did it just like glow green we and it glowed green. green when we put one thing in we could put the other one in and open it now let's just well, see what is happens. it is it open that's the real question because uh, it's but, glowing but green there's now. the thing what happens when we open it we don't know so we do know it's not going to do anything if we just walk away so we get your arm fixed, come back, open it I up. I pick up a stone and throw it at the barrier. I duck. Pass, passes right through. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, we know what the barrier does now. Okay. <laughs> barrier does a fat nothing. You threw I pick up left some arm, grass huh? and I throw the grass through. Grass? Yes. yes. You throw grass and it falls to the ground. It doesn't go very far. You're, you're getting next to the barrier and tossing it over. Yeah, I'm getting next to the barrier and tossing the ground. I'm not, like, trying to throw grass from 30 feet away. <laughs> okay, just making sure. It goes right through. All right. Mm -hmm. okay. So organic stuff can pass through it, too, now. Yeah. I, uh... I attempt to walk through the barrier. I duck. And go right through. Well, the thing is... Uh, Congratulations, you there... solved the puzzle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the thing is, as I stand there, like, bleeding from my arm, just talking to Brisora, we don't really, can't really do much, because uh, it's, uh, the all depends on our scout to see what's ahead, so. Right. So just we go get your arm fixed and let yes. him scout. Yeah. Yeah. See, we fixed the puzzle, but so, it... Yeah, since you solved the puzzle, I'll tell you but, what happened had, had you put the other rock there. So but it cost the us an arm and a leg. Really? Just an arm. Just yeah. An arm. My, foot was, my foot was a couple missions ago. <laughs> and I'm glad you guys tested it because I was thinking, man, it's gonna suck for all them. Had you put the other one over there, the the area would have exploded. You all been dead. Oh. Wipe. Oh. <laughs> okay then. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, so party wipe. All right. I was trying to emphasize that the right, the only one, only one pedestal is the access into this place. All right. Because uh, the it was to fool people. Anyone that come, oh, it's a puzzle we gotta solve. No, it's not. <laughs> It just says access key. 
So I do a uh, I do a radio check to see if I can still communicate with Karnoth and Brazora from the other side of the force field. Right, and the sequence you guys actually pulled the rocks out in is the correct sequence. It was triangle, line, five circles. You pulled them out in that order. Ah. So it was pulling them out was the actual puzzle part. Yes. All right, I do a radio check to see if I can still talk to uh, Karnoth and Brazora from the other side of the thing. Yes. Okay. I am going to investigate further in the cave. I'll anyone come back and report my findings. Anyone else coming? No, we're going back and get Karnoth a new arm. Yeah. Okay, so let me let me change the, the little thing real quick. Since just. All right. Because I actually had all four of you in there. Ooh, that, that's the wrong person I took out. Actually, hold on. Since that blew my arm away, that should max out my wounds. Uh, and... Would proc one of my talents. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, but it does nothing in this case, so whatever. Quick, let's get into combat so we can use his talent proc. <laughs> yeah... I have a talent where if I have three or less wounds before critical damage, uh, my, what was it, my strength, I get plus two to my strength bonus and my toughness bonuses. Uh, Ooh, uh -oh. so I, I, see, get, I get much stronger and tougher. I see a spear and the tip of the spear is bigger giant. than my entire body. Yeah, so you see a giant statue. There's a giant statue. Can I scrutinize it to make sure that it's a statue and it's not going to come alive and take me for granted? <laughs> Go for it. All right. I scrutinize the statue. You're pretty certain it's a statue. Nobody here but us statues. Yes. Uh, I take the statue for granted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh... I'm just going to continue sneaking my way through and see what I can spot. Hey. Okay. By the way, can uh Moth and uh Dan, can you guys see my character? Or no. Yes. Nope. Okay. Oh, oh uh, uh I guess you need to share the permissions to Moth for him to see. Yeah, go ahead and give uh Moth control if you don't mind. Uh, let me see if I can. I think do there's that. just visual permissions that exist, aren't there? Uh, no. Uh, I think only you can do that, or like no, like only Boca can do that. I cannot give access to other people to this character. Ah, there it is. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep rolling silent moves. <laughs> okay, you doing anything else as well? Looking for? Yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm scouting. I'm looking around to see if I can see anything okay. at all. Anything that will give us uh, more clues. Oh wow, I rolled a two. Holy shit! Yeah, you see, kind of a ground disturbance over here where I'm pinging. Uh... Oh, you stepped in it. Okay. Um, good or bad ground disturbance? Okay, so... Agility modifier, or agility check. Minus... Minus 10, since you kind of knew it was there. The ground disturbance was there. It's gonna uh, be... It's gonna, you can do a dodge, yeah. I didn't, you can do a dodge, too. I didn't realize that I was gonna... Walk right into it. I thought I was just walking up next to it. Oh, no! Uh, okay, okay. This is what traps are for. I have it on GM <laughs> overlay. You can't see it. That's the whole point. All right, so I'll do a dodge check. And you said minus 20? Minus 10. Minus 10? All right. Oh, well, I succeeded. You just see a pillar of light impact that area where I, that basically where my ping is, that big ping. Uh-huh. That whole radius emanated light in that direction. I oh, should have cast Moonbeam at you. And 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 you just see that that thing you saw outside, where the kind of like a force field, blue 
wispy force field type thing on the oh surrounding boy. the area now. In fact, I'll draw it now since you kind of you can't see it. Oh. Hmm. Ah, it's one of them Star Wars force field barriers. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to continue moving and checking for traps. Would that be scrutiny or awareness to check for traps? Scrutiny. Okay. Or awareness, either one's fine. I mean, they're both... They're both right. going to be the same result for me, because okay. they're both at the same level. Which direction are you looking in? Uh, I'm and you're currently gonna be taking looking in this direction. Yeah, these ones, the next ones, since I want to give you the first one a little easier, are we minus, minus 60 on the next ones. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that'll, that, that'll pass. And you something, you know that there's something in this, in this general direction. Like ground disturbances. I would like to throw a grenade onto the ground disturbances. <laughs> for it. Pulling the pin first or not? Oh, what yes, are, of are course I'm going to pull the pin. Throw? I throw... Are there any, you what? Are there any fro rocks you can throw instead yeah. of a grenade? I'm choosing to throw a grenade instead okay. of a rock. Alright, so I'm going to... Throw a grenade? Yes, I'm going to throw the... I'm gonna throw a frag grenade. What direction? Just uh, in the direction of the trap things. I want to see if I can set them off from a safe distance. Okay, you see that grenade fly out? Wow, another and then two. Fly straight back at you. Uh, okay. You're gonna dodge. You just see it stop me there, and then sling right back at you as someone threw it twice as hard as you. <laughs> okay then. Uh, sure, I'll dodge. Why not? See, otherwise you're going to be taking that damage, right? Dodge the roll out of its explosion radius. Okay. All right. I think you can take a frag grenade. It's not really. Yeah, that's true. Fun. But I'm not. Yeah, I'm going to choose one at not level to. One and survived again. See, oh, the yeah, thing is, though, face. if the grenade those are crack grenades, not frag grenades. If I threw well, those are even worse. If I threw a frag grenade. And it came back at me at twice the speed. What What's to say that it's not more powerful than an actual frag grenade now? So I'm not taking that Well, if that it's chance. also flying back at twice the speed, it goes through and it'll fly back twice the distance. So uh, technically, once you dodge out of the way, it goes past you, and you should be well out of range. As as you dodge out of the way of this grenade, where, where you would have been, there's now a big crater. Bigger oh. than that grenade could do. So you just see it impacted <laughs> it. And... Uh-oh. <laughs> Yeah, just and, vape and the grenade explodes. Yeah, the gra <laughs> and the gra yeah, you just see like a blue impact now, like something juiced up your grenade. Uh. Hmm, that is definitely not good. So, is there is there a way that I can try and find a path forward that is not trapped? Am I gonna have to Go for it. search for that? Yeah. Actually, I'm going to say that would probably be a surface navigation check, right? Sure. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, you're fairly certain this way. <laughs> I would like to fate point that. <laughs> sure. Because uh, I don't have anyone to talk some sense into me for this one. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're pretty certain, like... I got a 74 twice in a row. Mm-hmm. All right. You see a clear path ahead of you, but you you do see that disturbance that you saw from this one. Um, you don't see any other way around other than straight through. Ooh. Uh, are you looking around to see if there's anything else around you to help you and aid you? Do yeah. a logic check. Do a logic check. Okay. Logic. Alright. You're fairly certain, based on the entry to this cave, that this is some sort of puzzle as well. And mm -hmm. there's perhaps a way 
to figure out how to get past all this. Um. Oh, it's rock symbol two's pattern. Did you say rock simple? Rock <laughs> symbol. Rock oh. symbol two. Rock two. Yeah. The the circle with like on the. Oh oh circles. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, I don't like these circles. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, so v, uh, that's the pattern. Uh, that, yeah. Close enough to it. Yeah. yeah. I think. So we, wait, so we put the the first the the rock number one into the slot, right? Or was it rock number three to open the barrier? It was rock one in slot one opened the barrier. Yes, okay. but, no, but sorry. The pat rock three in slot one opened the barrier. Yes, but the pattern of you guys picking up the rocks was also the puzzle without you knowing it. So because you guys went triangle, which was you, Dan, first, line, which was then you again on the next one, number one, and you did the circle ones last, if I remember, right? Uh, I think triangle. So. Yep. Circle ones went into slot two, which caused the red thing, which lost Karnoff. Yeah, but Boko... Right. Boko I'm is... telling you what the puzzle is. So it was triangle, line, five circles, was the puzzle to then unlock the door, and rock one into position left was then your key in. Make rock sense? Rock three into position left. Rock one. Circles didn't left. matter. No, 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 no. I'm telling you the puzzle. That was the puzzle. The the picking up the puzzle and the clicking noise. That was for a reason. That was the, you know, yeah. activating the puzzle. Three, one, two. Yeah, three, one, two. And then you did one rock and two left. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That was the entry. That was yep. the that was yes. the whole puzzle. Yep. yep. Yes. Because the other one was just instant death. That the one on the right was always going to be instant death, no matter what. <laughs> right. Uh... I I just am trying to glean any kind of information I possibly can. Are you looking around? Yeah. Are you doing I any, any checks? I want to look for maybe some inscriptions. Can I check the statue for inscriptions? The statue? Go for it. That be Xenosalor? I'm going to assume it's Zeno's lore. Well, you're trying yep. to find a... You're, uh, well, I don't... Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Would you like my hero point? You're sure. certain that those five circles your friends just told you about in that rock is, is the way past this thing. Are you going to spend a fate point, Karnoff? Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you want. If you want. Yes. Please. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh, you're fairly certain that these statues are just uh, guardians of some kind. They don't any, glean any information how to get past this certain obstacle. You have so to look, look elsewhere. So the statues they're, are guardians. Yeah, they're just guardians, or it's it's letting you know that this is a, a guardian cave of some sort. Kirby. Oh, wait. Yeah, <laughs> Kirby. So, um... That's all you're able to deduce from these statues, that you're about to enter into something bad, bad. So it's like the entry point. Kind of like the, uh, on Lord of the Rings, those two statue guys that let yeah. you in the riverway. That's what these are. Ah, That's all they are. They're just okay. telling you what you're entering. You're entering their kingdom. Well, what do I do now? Are you looking around... You at all? There, there is a section yes. to the left. Uh, you can go, I think. Oh, okay. Agility check. Oh no. Uh -oh. <laughs> or dodge or whatever. I'll do a dodge. Okay. And yeah, you'd still pass. I was gonna say minus minus uh sixty on this one because you didn't even see it. Oh, okay. So, but you would still pass by point nine. So. Yeah. And this one, you see the same thing. Energy shield drops on. Hey, uh, all right. You do see this instrument, though. Is it a musical instrument? No, it's not a musical instrument. <laughs> it just seems to be a giant altar of some sort. 
a giant bolter? Alter. 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 Okay. Uh, I'd like to do a Xeno's lore check on it. Go for it. Uh oh. It's where you put the big rock on <laughs> from outside the five circles. Uh. Oops. <laughs> Here, let me also draw this the circle for you <laughs> so you don't step in it again. All right. I mean, it's kind of, it's still there. Both of those things are still there, just kind of like flickering there. And do a, do a logic check as well. Just because I want you to not forget this. Uh, I don't want to be responsible for what happens. You do know what happened when that outside shield, they were also glowing blue. What other color did they turn? They turned red and green. Correct. So your guys deducing that whatever that outside shield can do, these can do as well. Right. Okay. I just wanted to have you that inf little bit of information as you go back outside for that rock. All right. So I'm going to carefully uh, retrace my steps and come back, go back out the way I came in to uh, prevent triggering any more traps. Okay. I do keep in mind. Your job is to scout the cave, not solve the puzzle. Yeah. True. Solving the puzzle would have been just a bonus, but I'm okay. going to come back out of the cave now. So, are you bringing that rock to the shield? Uh, uh the, the shield you came into? The green shield? No. Are you being hesitant when you do it? I didn't carry a rock with me, did I? Are right, you going back outside to get yes. it, right? Okay. I'm not going I back guess. outside to get it. I'm going outside to report my findings. Okay, it's making sure <coughs> we're not solving puzzles here, because, like... Mm -hmm. No. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> All right. I'm assuming you guys made it back to camp, or you guys still... Well, we probably went back to camp, yeah. Depends on if we actually made it back all the way or not. You would have had enough time to, to, for, for you to do that. Yeah. Because he's going to scout, you need medical attention, and you need a new arm. Alright, so I'm going to uh, report my findings. I talk at great length about the traps, and... Circles, blue lights. Yep, circles, blue lights, same kind of force field as uh, the thing before. And I'm going to say how I threw a frag grenade and it came back and blew an entire crater that was way bigger than a frag could ever do. Um, and I'll talk about the statue... And finally, I'm going to say that I found an altar, and I'm pretty sure that one of the other rocks goes there, and that will disarm all the traps. <laughs> <coughs> that is not the same technology we've been facing or seeing. Very interesting. <laughs> Do keep in mind, that's just a regular guardsman, not an idiot. Yeah. That's how they partially talk in that matter, because they're so elite. That is not the same technology we've been facing or seeing. Very interesting. Yeah, they're just trying to glean some information to you. You guys. Hmm. Ooh! I have an idea. Yeah? It's a, it's a really bad idea. Go ahead. We have a lot of guardsmen. And we yes, have a lot we, of traps. We, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the heck was that <laughs> roll, roll about? I meant to do GM roll. Oh. Sorry. Uh oh. You know how Before it is. Okay. days we will all die. No. <laughs> no, nothing like that. But the guardsman. Informs you that they're picking up something on long range. 
Afghans from this ca base camp because they're constantly like scanning for stuff. What, no. what kind of something? They're unsure. Probably. Uh, Is it a beep? Bandit. Is it a sweep? Is it a creep? <laughs> No, but anyways, they tell you that it's something long range, long range radar uh, in atmosphere, uh, five hundred clicks to the west. Is it moving? Yeah, they say it's coming in the direction. All right, everybody, man the guns. Yeah. Can I but do that, anything about it? No, oh, the know. guards. Yeah, uh, they're saying uh, ET. ETA it is, five it's not hours. At, it's, not, it's not moving at a high rate of speed. Whatever it is, it's not moving at, but it is moving generally in our direction. How big is it? What kind of weapons does it have? Do they know anything like that? <clears throat> Unsure. It's large. Large like what your mom says is large, or large like actually <laughs> big? Possible mothership based on the Inquisition's intel. Because they did a knowledge dump on all your guys' special forces. So they have some uh, similar intel that the Inquisition was willing to like, divulge to you guys. So, you guys knowing your mothership means a giant force that you won't be able to possibly <clears throat> fight against is coming your way. Um, so, they're approaching, so in five hours they will be here. Uh, you said our ship comes by in around four. Correct. The next rendezvous, so we have an hour of time to get out of here. Uh... We just pack up and leave? Question mark? Yeah. I think we better get out of here. It, it's, it's better to, that we leave no signs of our activity here. Or as little as possible. So are we going to put all the rocks back where we found them then? Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. That's what we got to do. Okay. If we're leaving and packing out and leaving up. Otherwise, we could try and hide in the cave. I well, we also we, we also have a librarian who can teleport us back on the ship. We don't really have to have to wait, but yeah. Uh, I guess we can go back, and uh, and I can just lift one of the rocks with my one hand, my strong <laughs> hand. <laughs> it's my strong <laughs> hand. So this doesn't bother me at all. Let's go back. Okay, so you guys are going back into the fray? Into the instant death cave. Instant death cave. That's funny. Okay, are you all going this time? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, is, was there like a stone plate in the cave? He saw an altar. And then he said, "This is surely where that one goes." That's and for all your character knows, that's what that is. What is correct? <laughs> uh, I think we <coughs> wanted to place. Wait, did we want to place the stone in the altar, or did we want to place the stones back where they were uh, outside the cave? Who's picking well, up the rock? If we and put. Who's... Okay, here's here's the question: Are we going in the cave to try and solve the puzzle, or are we hiding our presence here? I think I we're hiding. We're go, yeah, hiding our presence, not going into the cave. Yeah. My question is, what if the mothership comes out here and then hangs around yep. and doesn't go away, and then we're just stuck here until the end of time? <sighs> yes, until we, we have start four hours of time at the same time. Yeah. Mm. Your guys' call. Uh, who's holding the rock, by the way? I've got it. I don't it. think we went in the cave yet. Oh. No, we did. We went in the cave. We're in the cave now. Well, whoever's holding the rock, the rock stops as soon as it hits the barrier and falls to the ground. 
Okay, so that's off. The rock does not go on the uh, altar then. Cool. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's... I, guess I would have been holding the rock, yeah. Yeah, you, you go, uh, uh, it just stays floating in the sky. Won't, won't go in. It refuses to go in. Not, you push well, a lot your might. Obviously, you can't take the puzzle pieces away from the puzzle it's a part of. Right. Oh. I point to the uh, altar that I described earlier. Here it is, brothers. And Brazora. So you said you took a grenade and you threw it, and it came back really high speed and blew up real hard. Yes, I threw a grenade uh, southeast, and it came back with twice the force. All right, I pick up a small pebble and I underhand toss it. I was gonna do it, goddamn it! This way. With your one arm. No, I was thinking of doing it. Uh, nothing happens. You see it, boop, pop, 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 hit the ground. Okay, I keep doing that with a bunch of pebbles and like a fan pattern. Okay, nothing happens. <laughs> Look, the rocks are immune. Okay, I've solved the puzzle. We need to cover ourselves in rocks. Because <laughs> they're immune to the berries. <laughs> they're immune to the rocks. No, wait, Brazora. This entire cave is laden with traps. Making just one wrong step could cost us our lives. That's why we cover ourselves in the rocks. The rocks will protect us from the traps. I kneel See? and, and then pick I pick up, up a rock and I throw it into one of the light barriers that's up. I'm going to do a logic figure. roll to see if uh, I'm gelling with this or not. I'm going to pick up a handful of rocks <laughs> and kind of like try to put them in where my arm was, kind of <laughs> pluck it up. Okay. Um, I failed the logic check, Boko. You agree with him. <laughs> Actually, you know what? You logic check yourself, Karnoff. Yep. You all agree. <laughs> Cover yourselves in rocks is the way yep. to go. Alright, yep. I'm spending my okay. last fate okay. point. Before we all do this, I do pick up a rock and I throw it into one of these barriers to prove my point. It hits the barrier and drops to the ground. Okay, it proves the point. Let's go. <laughs> no, no. If it was immune, if it was immune, it would have gone through the barrier just fine. Alright, I re-rolled my logic check and uh, succeeded. So you're all deducing that these traps are definitely not activated by just rocks. These traps are definitely not activated by just rocks. What? As I say, with like a handful more of rocks in my hand. Your single hand? Yes. Right. So you it's have not your... rock immune, it just doesn't see it at whatever this is, doesn't see it as a threat. You just have an entire arm full of rocks that you're holding against your body. <laughs> I, pu I put a couple on top of my helmet, like around my gorget, <laughs> and around my ne like neck piece, yeah. Ugh. Made of rock. And stone. Alright. So what are you doing Rock now? and stone to the bone. Uh, well, clearly the rocks don't seem to be affecting the barriers. Uh, well, one rock. But what about a handful of rocks? And I throw, like, in a scattering pattern, I just, like, throw a, a few of them in front are of you, me. Are you throwing them at the barrier? Yeah, at the barrier. The ones that are up or the ones you can't see? Uh, the ones that are up. They all hit the barrier, they all stop in midair, they all fall to the ground. <laughs> Alright. And... I'm noticing a pattern here. <laughs> and then a handful more, and I just throw them in front of me. Where uh, supposedly Virlo pointed the traps were. Oh, sorry. Hey, nothing happens. Oh. Yeah, you just see him rocks hit the ground. Okay, okay. See, nothing to be afraid of, brother. Cover yourself in rocks. <laughs> Cover yourself in oil. <laughs> exactly. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. <laughs> holy oil for that kind of thing. Brazora, get the body oil. <laughs> uh. Only frag grenades seem to be kind of provoking any response. So anything harmful seems to be provoking that response. 
Anything uh, harmful, you say? Yes. I'm gonna do something silly and probably stupid. You're gonna try to heal Might the wanna cleaver? back up. Okay, you know... Kind of takes, takes one step back. So Not I pull out step my melt back, comrades. I take two steps back. <laughs> and then I fire the exterminator charge on its underbarrel. Which is just like a flamethrower. A flamethrower? Yep. Uh, and... 20 meter range on it though, so it's gonna go about this far. Okay, well, you shoot a flamethrower. Alrighty then. Nice map. You don't see anything happen, per se. It's quiet. Too quiet. Do we know if they ever... Wait, so... The third stone is the, the one which blew my head, hand off. Uh, it can be used. And the second, like, the, the, the one is, is the key, which opened the barrier. Second can be uh, brought him inside, and the third is a death trap. Uh, or, you know, exploded. Uh, so we can't really bring anything inside. We can't really detect traps without basically stepping on them ourselves and just dodging. Well, no, Which we I can guess... roll high for looking for traps. Uh, I Which mean, yeah. Minus yeah, 60. Yeah, minus 60 on, on finding the disturbance in the ground. Cause... Is it like awareness, or what is it? Scrutiny. Scrutiny. Perfectly safe. Uh... Oh, yeah. Uh, in fact, yeah, you see here. In fact, you say, oh, here's a trap right here. Don't step there. Uh, minus. I don't think I can even roll. You're certain yeah. there's a trap right there. Oh, wait, actually, I can if I read. Oh, never mind. And you are certain there's a trap right there. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm going to do a scrutiny check as well. Okay. Oh, my God. You are certain there's a trap right there. Uh oh. I mean, one way to disable the traps is to dodge out of the way, right? And we know the traps are there, so, you know, just kind of dip in and dip out, right? Or, the disturbances are on the ground, so if we don't touch the ground. But we do have to land. We just don't land on the disturbance. <laughs> Easy. I find point. no issue with this. Hey, so you're gonna fly him off? Uh, <clears throat> yep. Which direction? Well, I'm trying to prove that not stepping on the ground provokes not traps. So I'd go for the one where I think there's a trap. And just, like, try to go through it. Yeah, nothing happens. Yeah, see? It works. I I fly over this trap where what I think uh, actually no I think this is what is a trap yeah I try to f fly over this trap as well, quote unquote. See if anything happens. Nothing. Ah, perfectly safe, brother Virlo. Come. Yes. Yeah, here's the problem, though. I don't have you a have jump pack. have one arm, and I can't pick him up. Surely one arm will be enough. Minus 30? You are check. a space marine. Hold him with your legs. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> See? Easy. <laughs> and he can also hold on to you. That's another option. He, like, like you guys are, like, grappling each other. It's also yeah. an option. Yeah, Basically. true. I guess we could fly in a V formation. Yeah, we could. We just like, <laughs> we, like uh, yeah, I'm like on top right, you you on top left, and like we're like, in the middle, like we're both holding him by the hands or something. Yep. Yeah. Hey, yeah. where are you going now? 
I prefer holding him by the feet, though. Just because it's funny. All <laughs> <laughs> that, that oh, the blood is shoot. rushing to my head! Yeah. yeah, that way he can shoot if anything tries to attack us. Yeah, like upside <laughs> down, yeah. Alright, so you guys are carrying me across the traps? Is that uh, it? Yep. Yep. And I'm assuming we want to check for disturbances where we land. Oh yeah, definitely want to. Oh yeah, that's another reason why we should carry you upside down so you can get a closer look. At yeah, the first. because you're the you're the most perceptive of us. Yes. True. Actually, Brazor is the most perceptive because she has observation mass. Oh, I do. However, I only have a sixty, where you have an eighty. Ah, okay. All right, let's do it. Great idea. Absolutely nothing could go wrong. Nothing wrong could ever have happened. What are you talking about? Yeah. Uh, what was it, like mi minus 60 to spot the traps, right? Yeah. Uh. Yep, I don't see anything. Yep, you're good. Keep flying. All right, I'm going to keep... Uh... I'm gonna keep spotting it. So oh, yeah. There oh, are no God. more traps. No more traps. All good. <laughs> As I've. Uh, which direction are we flying? Uh, uh, down the corridor over that way. This way, I'd imagine. Hey. Sure. How much. How far are we traveling before we land? Uh, what's, what's like your movement again? Oh, right. Uh. Movement on a jetpack would be. Oh, you know what? Real quick, I'll spend another fate point. Okay. Oh, to increase our movement speed. Oh, okay. Yes, I up our uh, agility. Okay. Now we've got the uh, unnatural agility too. Uh, fuck. Let me see how it works again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven, Should six. double our movement speed. If I remember right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like trying to re recalculate my bonuses to movement right now. So I should be able to move 120 meters. Jetpacking at full move. Yep. Go for it. Uh, sorry, okay. Sorry, okay. Uh, so how, how much again can you move? Sorry. 120. 120, that's run, right? Uh, yep. Okay, uh, I can, okay, yeah, sure. That is also jetpack, which is. Yes. You know, double. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, we can travel 102, yes. Uh. Let's do 90 instead. That's a good Alrighty. number, right? Yeah. Sure, why not? Okay. <coughs> All right, everyone, do a dodge check. All right, step back. Here we go. Uh, shouldn't this be a piloting check for me and uh? Sure, yeah. sure. But I was saying dodge, you can pull out of it. We're jetpacking, and Virlo can't dodge because uh, we're holding. Uh, you can't. Okay, so pilot check since you're trying to do something strenuous. Well, so, so okay, minus so minus fifty. Oh god! Okay. Uh, I can dodge using a jetpack. Uh, and I, I know that's you can. Gonna have give me a huge bonus. Uh, but the piloting skill is to make sure you guys are holding on to poor old tesseract as you're flying and dodging on the way, because you guys did your dodges right. Oh, it doesn't. Actually I did my dodge, but it doesn't. Well, yeah, I mean, you don't dodge. dodge. Your your dodge is their pilot check. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Because Virlo, you're at, my fate point. you're at the mercy. Virlo, you're at the mercy of these two assholes holding you in the sky. <laughs> True. <laughs> so you, you don't you don't get a dodge. You get you get I'm to. Roll that, by the way. Yeah, go for okay. it. Do you want my fate point? No, I got more. Okay. God damn oh. it. There we go. Okay, so you see dodge. Pilot check somebody or either one of y'all. Karoth is gonna have to pilot check. Minus fifty. Uh, sure, where was it? If both of us pilot check, could the thing be reduced slightly? I can half it. Alright, I'll pilot check then too. So minus 25 then. Oh yeah. Both have to succeed. Fuck. 
Ooh. Dude, what am I fight point? Ah, I still got... Let's see, I burned two there. Still got another. Okay. No guarantee it'll be good, though. Surely. Surely it will be great. We get another plus 10, so it's minus 15 now. Oh, it's fantastic. Okay, oh, cool. Wow. Alright. So, one of those shields dropped down. You guys get pushed off to the right here. You dodge out of the way just in the nick of time. Uh, let me go ahead and draw that for y'all so you see it. Wow, there's a lot of statues in here. And that's literally where it's at, too, on the, on the GM tracker. So my GM layer. You literally you guys went right through it. So, you guys land. You guys are safe where you're at, as far as you know. I'm going to check for more traps in front of us. <laughs> About that. Notice something, Moth? Yeah. Oh, I kind of okay. just hit the fucking wall. I can't move. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, ah! same. Yeah, yeah, same, same. <laughs> oh. There seems to be a barrier of some kind. Yes. You don't My... even see anything. Character this time. is stuck. I can't move it. Oh yeah, I should yeah. say my character is also stuck. Yeah, it's because we're in the wall. Well, I give up mine. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there you go. We just can't yeah. move forward. Now there's there's a there's a point where you can actually get stuck in a wall, and then you can't move your character at all. Yep. Yeah. You're like Han Solo in the carbon or whatever it is. So some force is preventing you from pushing forward. I would like to uh, do... Is it awareness or scrutiny to inspect the statues to see if anything changed about them? Scrutiny? Plus, plus 30? Good thing you're you had a plus thirty. You don't you don't see anything on these things. What they're visibly doing anything. So they visibly have not changed. Okay. Visibly not changed since you entered this room. You're just standing there, statuesque, taking us for granted yet again. <laughs> We're just a pile of granite to them. Yeah. Well, I can't logic check, and my character's dumb as a bag of bricks. However, <laughs> you guys can. <laughs> uh, uh, lo lo mm. How about the statues line of sight? Can you guys logic their line of sight? Maybe that has something to do with the traps. Sure. It, you know I'm, what? Sh I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Oh god. How far do I think they see? You're thinking the statues have nothing giggity. to do with this. You think what he's saying is retarded and stupid. <laughs> I I remain silent and I don't respond to your question. Right. They're just statues. But they possibly could have something. You're thinking they possibly could have something to do with it. But you're uncertain. Possibly. Sister Brizora. It is the dumbest thing you've ever heard. you dropped on your head as a child. I, I just like stare at her. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what are you gonna do? She uh, barely masks cursing you both. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. In low gothic. I'm gonna do a okay. fellowship roll to see if I take offense to that. <laughs> Oh no, the party is breaking apart already. Oh, good, okay, <laughs> good, good. Brizora, I certainly hope you refrain from insulting us in the future. Well, it's not like you were chosen by the Emperor. You what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? I bet one of the statues said it. <laughs> Slowly turns around. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I can actually imagine Karnoth doing that. Just slowly, dramatically turning around with one arm <laughs> into a death stare. <laughs> he turns back. <laughs> yeah, so we are at an impasse. There's a barrier in front of us that we can't really... Is it the same type of barrier that we no. saw at the big? Okay. Is it Very the same different. type of barrier that... You don't even see it. On? No, you can see it. Well, it's invisible. It doesn't incinerate us. It didn't stop our movement and drop us to the ground. It just kind of is a wall. Yep. Yeah. So we pro I, I, I'm thinking that it's, it has to do something with that altar over there. And we probably need to find a tablet to deactivate this barrier. Like we did need to deactivate the entrance barrier. Okay, so you're going back to the altar? Well, we know that this path is clear. Uh, so we can just probably walk over back to where we just trace our steps. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm jetpacking. Yeah, actually. we had to fly to get there. Uh, Yeah, actually, no, yeah, you're right. We have to fly With back. The, those yeah. are traps right there. Why would you walk yeah. back? Well, you, no, because we, we checked well, this one, didn't proc, and this one didn't proc. This one proc though hey, uh, while you're flying. Boko, though, your characters can reasonably deduce that those weren't traps. Before we all start getting fly happy again, um, I want to do a Xenos lore to see if I can determine anything about the force field in front of us. Yeah. Go for it. Oh my Minus god. Minus eighty. Minus eighty. Well, that failed miserably then. You deduce that you have no idea what it is. I have no idea what it is. Beyond comprehension. It's beyond comprehension. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> Your characters <laughs> deduce those three traps are probably not traps at all. The ones you guys discovered. Yeah. Only one way to find out, right? I walk over. I'm not risking it. <laughs> I walk through. Okay, nothing happens. Oh. Uh, they walk through the other ones. I'm okay. following uh, Dan's character. Uh, Do we check this way for any traps of any kind? Towards the altar? Let's just see. So this has been cleared. One. Uh, well, sorry. No, this, is, this is wrong. This is wrong. Uh, This is clear, this is clear, this is clear. I'm looking towards the altar to see if I can't spot any traps. This whole area is clear at least. Uh, I don't see any. I don't think that area is clear. Looks like a ball sack. <sighs> yep. I'm just gonna do a screen check. <laughs> Ooh, so many traps all around me. No, you don't see anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> there, now it's a boot. Oh, <laughs> uh, you put laces on Hey, who's approaching the altar? Uh, me, I guess. I definitely didn't see any traps. Okay. Oh, you're going on top of the altar. So you're climbing up over the edge and getting on top oh, of it. Oh, there's an edge? Okay. That's yeah, it comes out, it comes, comes out of the ground because that's the edge. So there's three concentric circles. It looks like the symbols on them all the way around them. It's kind of like a layered cake, if that makes sense, with symbols in each row. Mm -hmm. All right, so what do the symbols look like then? There is many, many incomprehensible numbers you're looking at. I'm not going to draw all that, but you see many. Okay. All we need to do is decipher the language on this and it'll tell us what to do. <laughs> Quick, did anybody remember their studies on uh, old one language? Mm, let's... Uh, are these purely Xenos? Like, do they resemble any warp or demonic languages, like symbols? Oh, or... this is the old no. ones. The, this is like, okay. yeah, uh, forget, you know, the old ones that fought the Necrons. 
those old ones. Any modifiers for Xenos lore? Minus 60. Can I even roll that? Uh, let's see. You should no, have it. You should have forbidden Xenos. Uh, no, I mean, I, I, I do, but I don't have enough to pass the test. Ah. I see. Are you looking at all the symbols to see if they need to recognize what? their moth? Because you do yep. know the three outside. Oh god, that's especially bad. Oh! Oh my god. So, uh, Bersora, you're looking at it, and you, all you see is, this is heretical. Heresy! I turn away. Yep. They can't look at it anymore. <laughs> Kenny, look, you're so <laughs> disgusted you almost wanted to destroy the stupid thing. I'm tempted, but I know it's part of this. And I can't destroy it, so I'm just going to repeat it. Do a will check. Will save. Uh-oh. Minus 30. To see if you shoot a melta at that stupid thing. Minus 10, that's pretty awful, bro. Got a 92. Tipped it. Oh, man. I have so many willpower bonus things. Uh, Good. Uh, then you pass this with these. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if any of them will actually affect this roll or not. Who else is checking the uh, terminal before Moth makes its decision on shooting this thing or not? All right, you said minus 30, right? Yeah, minus 30. All right, so that's a plus 10, then. Okay. Nope. Oh, my God. <laughs> Would you like a hero po uh, fate point for that? Uh... Up to you whether you want me to spend one or not. Uh, I am. I you can you can take it if you want it. All right, then I'll reroll. Plus twenty now. There you go. You fight the urge. You about unholster it, get ready to pull it. And then you think to yourself, if that grenade came back twice as strong, this will come back twice as strong. Oh. Not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it. Yeah, yeah. Especially since I would have used the the big. 20 penetration shot weapon. Oh, God. Yeah, you would have been fucked up by that, wouldn't you? That would melt your armor. Yeah. No, my armor. Yeah. No. Well, it, it, imagine if it's twice as powerful and it's 40 penetration. Uh, it still does damage. True. So, you know. Uh... I am immune to the Melda's effects, my armor, that is. I, I know, I'm, yeah, I like that you got that. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm so tired of that happening. <laughs> no, you're the only person in this group I can't kill. Well, no, I think you still do damage, you just don't reduce my armor. Right, That was that's a nightmare. Yeah. I still take the same amount of damage. Okay. Um, let's go around this safe area. That we do know is safe. Uh, is there anything else that we know? We don't see anything else. You see the altar, all the symbols on it. Virlo, are you able to deduct anything by looking at it? You mean deduce? Sorry, deduce. Uh, so what am I looking at? Uh, the altar. The altar. <laughs> oh. You know, the uh, thing we're talking about, we're refusing to try and destroy. Yeah. thing I can't even look at anymore. Alright, I scrutinize the heresy. altar. Are you getting it close to it? Touching it? Moving it? <coughs> or are you just looking at it? Um. I'm. I'm right next to it. I'm touching it. I'm doing stuff okay, like so that. So you see that as you touch those three separate layers, it moves freely to the left and right. What does? It slides. The, oh, the, 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 the layers. Yeah, oh no! 
Now yeah. we need to find the matching pillar on the other side, and we need to get the bottom one on the other pillar. <laughs> without, without, we, then we got to move the top ones first because we can't move the bottom. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that. And, and by moving the top ones, you move the bottom ones as well. Oh. Yeah. No, they move freely and independent of each other as he's moving them, touching them. So I imagine you actually, it's like a, they spin around in a circle. Yeah, the whole thing. I'm going to do a logic check to see if I can figure it's this thing out. It's a safe dial. Yep. It's a safe dial. That's it. You got yeah. it. All right. I logic. You use that's what it is. It's a giant alien safe dial. Those <laughs> methods. Well, that logic check was to see if I could solve it, because I we already figured what it is with scrutiny, right? Yeah. Yes, you can solve it. Uh, you actually see? Are you walking around this whole thing? Yeah. Are you just staying? Okay. The whole thing, right? The Which whole way thing. Which way are you going? Yeah, go ahead. Go, I go. Show me uh, which way you're going. I go uh, counterclockwise. Okay, keep walking. Just show me where you're walking. Okay, you see what appears to be two pillars that's uh, parallel with those three layers going up. So, All right. In fact, let me let me draw it. That'd be easier. Map layer. Are they vertical or are they horizontal? Like that. So it's a giant combination lock. You got mm -hmm. it. Okay. So, um, I grab, I grab onto, Hold uh... Hold on, there might be more. Keep going. Yeah, okay, alright. I go around the rest of the combination lock. You see lock. symbols, you see symbols. Uh, dodge check. Uh-oh. Minus 60. Alright. Oh, holy shit. That was a good Did roll. Roll a three, nice. Roll nice. a three. Yep. Dodge. And there's there's where that trap was. Oh, Her. boy. Yeah, hold me reposition. It's actually... Right. Oop. Why did it do that? I hate when it does that. Just trying to size it to where it is on the GMA overlay. Oh, my God. Whatever, it's right there. Don't care. You step right into it. Now the blue thing hits the ground. But I dodge. You dodge right out of it. You kind of see the flash and you move out of the way just in the nick of time. Because it's not instantaneous when the shield goes up. Alright. It's, it's kind of like a... It's slow enough for you to react. But so it's pretty fast. Any, any mere mortal would have been trapped in that. Yeah. So... Can I still, like, see to this side of it? You see? can walk around this thing, too. Oh, well, that's what I've been doing, but now I'm reconsidering that. So he that. means walk around the trap. Walk around the trap. You can literally just walk around. Like, you can go this way. Walk around if you wanted to. All right. I'll walk around the trap. But you run the risk of getting hit by another trap. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to keep inspecting the... The yeah, but you just see thing. more. You just see more combinations, more symbols. Are all you right. scrutinizing the symbols at all? Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay, so you do find some symbols that you're familiar with, the ones you saw outside in the rocks. Oh boy, this shit again. Oh shit! It's actually a Stargate. Possibly. All right, I start uh, making yeah. my way back. Yeah, you see the triangle, the line symbol, and you see the five circle symbol again. Uh, I I grab onto the giant combination lock altar and I spin it like it's the wheel of fortune. <laughs> and it spins freely. All right. And as it's spinning, you start to see those traps starting to glow red. Uh oh. So you're stopping. I duck. Are you are you stopping I, spin freely? I I get ready. I uh. As an ready position. I stop the wheel from spinning. Okay, they start to slowly fade back <coughs> to blue. All right. 
too much heat. Man, we uh, we almost landed on a bankrupt there on the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> <laughs> that that reference is 30,000 years old. <laughs> you mean 41,000 so years old. Well, actually, it would be 39,000 years old. Yeah, you're right. Hey. So those two blue lines you see, those are the, where the pillows are at. So it's like it's and it's perfectly in line where those symbols would be. So it is a giant combination lock. So what? And so what you, you have to huh? what you have to do then to solve it is you you spin it three full revolutions counterclockwise to whatever the number is. Then you find the next number, and you do one revolution clockwise to that number, and then you go directly counterclockwise again to the third number, and that should unlock it, assuming the numbers are correct. Carnal just stands there, just stares at you. <laughs> yep. And you get... So those symbols he saw, were they vertical on the three layers of the pillar? Or were they all in the same layer? Vertical. All, it's all vertical. Like there's okay, the, so you, the, those three layers are independent of each other. There's yeah, three I, layers I meant they, I meant each symbol. Were they on a different layer of yes. the pillar? Okay, yep. Ah. Yep. 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 Triangle, line, five circles. Can I do a logic check to uh, try and solve? Actually, uh, I'd like to buy a vowel. <laughs> sure. Wait. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a logic check. See if I can figure anything else out about this. All right. Not deducing other than those symbols are there <clears throat> on the dial. Can I do a Zeno's Lord check on the symbols themselves? Go for it. All right. You know that they're uh, alien constellation, the the cardinal directions uh, on this local system. You know they're possibly old one. Hmm. All right. So what was the order we picked up the rocks again? <laughs> it was a triangle with circle in it. Then it was squiggly line with circle next to it. Then it was five circles. Yeah. Yes. So you gonna try that? Yes, we're gonna yes. try the combination lock. Doing okay, it that you, way. You sign it triangle line five circles, and you start to see those things glow red. Okay, bad idea. Bad idea. Quick, spin it away from those. Okay, so it's not that. That's not the combination. Ah. Uh, well, reverse order. Well, considering they're vertical on the pillar. So you're doing what first? Distract. Uh, well, we tried one way; it didn't work. Okay. Reverse order. So we'll do reverse order then. Okay. So you do five circles as as you lay up the five circles. Are you doing the top layer five circles? The first combination five. Okay. Uh, as you do that, you see the bottom ring lock into place. Ooh. Goes. You hear an audible click. All right. Okay. I think we're getting somewhere. Do the portal things glow uh, red again? They're still... They're red. They're still red. But okay. they're not doing anything as of yet. Okay. Alright, we continue uh, solving the combination lock. Okay. Which one do you do next? Well... Well, you might as well try a line, but it could also be circle. No. Well, the, we're doing we're doing it in the reverse order of yeah, so how we solve the puzzle triangle. outside. Yeah. So you're doing a line. <clears throat> yeah, I believe so. Okay. Uh, prepared to spend a fate point or dodge. I'm out of fate points. I can try yeah, and dodge. Can, I can okay. give you one if need be. All right, I'm gonna do a dodge. All right. Successfully dodged, you see the nearest trap to you. It, it 
just blast a bunch of energy where you were standing. Uh, pew, 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 pew. Certainly, you would have died. Oh. It's not lie. Try the triangle one. <laughs> and the trap that you saw is gone. Ooh. Ah. Okay, so we just need to do that like 30 more times. <laughs> 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 and then not insta die. Yeah. Uh. Okay, so you're doing triangle next? Yeah. So you use spin it around, do triangle, locks into place. Ooh. And by process of elimination, we know that the last one is going to be squiggly line, so we do that. Okay, you do line. It could be okay. fucking with us. It could be a different symbol entirely. True. No, I, no, uh, I can't do that. If I can't visually show you all these things, I will give you something simple and then go with that. Fair. Right. It so could be boot symbol with lace straps. Come on. Right. <laughs> You know, ye old constellation of alien boot. But the nearest trap was to... You don't see it no more. But there's still death traps. Jesus, and Conrad, you don't, tie your you don't fucking hear any, You don't hear anything visible other than those things that... Those three lo things that locked into place. Alright. Did any of the uh, traps that are triggered turn a different color, or are they still red? Still red. We're not done. Uh, Remember the I last like... one? They locked into place and then we had to do more. I would like to go back to the statues and oh, scrutinize Oh, do a dodge them. check. You just stepped on the <laughs> trap, brother. I went uh, around North? Here. Okay, it's making sure. Cause, like, he was just wants... moving his character directly in Australia. Okay, I'm about to say. Because if you went directly north, you can do a dodge check there, friend. And scrutinize uh, the statues again. To see if anything changed. Nothing changed on them. Oh right. man, this is a doozy. <laughs> Can I fly directly up towards the ceiling and then look down on the top of the dais? Sure. You get a one bit of cooldown by doing that, by the way. If you. You, no, if you fly for a minute, you have a cooldown of a minute, I think. I have infinite jetpack because I'm not a space marine. No, that's, that's Same how power old... jetpack, I'm a much lighter person. No, but that's how all jetpacks work. Mine you, says like, it doesn't fly... work that way. Ah, fine. I'm specifically, a, this is my entire class, what they do, is they fly around on jetpacks and they shoot shit from above. So I yeah. don't have any cooldown on my jetpack from the class. Interesting, okay. Okay, so you fly to the ceiling, you look down, you don't see anything on the dial. Are you doing anything else? Nope. I was just going to see if there was any mysterious symbols on the dial. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a fourth one may attack this. Or a button in the middle that we had to press. <laughs> well, since they just clicked... Uh, we can go check up on the barrier, see if it's still there. Sure. I walk I up walk to the barrier. The barrier. It was, where was it again? Right around here. Barrier's where the, gone. Where the green line was. Oh, I have a circle's there. Because they're moving. Uh-oh. Are they moving towards us? Yes, they are. Virlo, are you well, with them? Run, Virlo, run! Run, Virlo, you should be away, around to the exit. Away! 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 Not to us. Oh, uh, I don't like the look of that. Uh, I you know, really you wanna, hate the look of that. You want to insta-die? Dodge? To get past that Tesseract? You got to go past them. Minus uh, third, minus thirty on that dodge to get through that. As is... if you are speaking, right. you're muted. Yeah, there. thank you. Yeah, minus thirty on that. Okay, oh, yeah, you dodge. Better. You dodge forward. You know, with the team. Uh, and Moth, go ahead and do a dodge check. Oh no. Oh. Uh, 
Mine is 60. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you're, you're, you're trapped right there. I have a hate point if you want one. Yeah, but minus 60 means I gotta roll a 10. Uh, a 20, actually. Yeah, because you got plus 10. But yeah, it's still gonna be a lot. You can be tighter than wanna... butt cheeks. Do you wanna do well, that? I've been rolling shit all night. All day, all morning. It's morning, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's daytime for an entire year, remember? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the sun's pretty far away, so they can get, it doesn't get much much heat, so it's actually fairly temperate. So what say you? How many fate, fate points do you guys have left? Is the question. One. Zero. I've only got one as well. Open save it in case there's another die moment. It seems like it is it, right? It seems like it is. Yep. You're, you're getting Keep trapped in the, tr in the thing. And with the oh. death beams coming. Are they death beams? Those were just more traps. They're glowing red. They haven't stopped glowing. Those two haven't stopped glowing red, and they're coming at you. Oh, okay. So just think giant, in fact, on those ones you just see like, what well, looks like laser beams or giant energy pulsing beams scorching the ground as they're coming towards you guys. So, it's very apparent <clears throat> what it is now. Yeah, I'm dead. Uh, not necessarily. Oh man. You can have my fate point. Nah, you should save it. Uh, this sure is life or more. death, Moth. I'm sure there's going to be more traps in front of you. Ooh, I'm sure there's going to be more shit in front of me. Yeah, you know, with this fucker. Uh, yeah, you're moving, right, Virlo? Uh, you're, you're moving? I've actually stopped in my tracks after I saw Moth get trapped. Well, then you got hit by the beam that just came over you. Yeah, you got hit by it. Oh, did you I? Gotta, you got to dodge. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll dodge. dodge. Alright. Minus 30. Okay. Dodge well, forward or dodge anyway. backwards? Which way are you going? <laughs> I'm going to dodge backwards the way I came. Okay. What does this thing look like and what does it do? See a giant statue with a kind of a glowing eye. Go ahead and do a awareness check. What you color see... is the eye glowing? Nothing. Uh, it's kind of like if you were to describe it like a white light, like an incandescent light almost, like that kind of glowing, not any particular color. Um, that's my awareness check. Okay, yeah, that's what you see. Um, it's not a creature of any kind. You see that it is a statue, and it has one eye. And on the ground, you see rocks all around it. And a circle pattern. I, I, don't, I told you the rocks. Yeah, you see the rocks? I do see the rocks, yes. Yep. Big old so I'm assuming pattern. rocks are battle arena. So have, did these light beams just stop at the barrier and they're just not doing anything? Yep. They're just so surrounding totally you. fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm right. the safest one here. <laughs> For now. But, uh... I can just uh, look around to see if like there's anything to the sides uh, of this quote-unquote arena before and going past the rock barrier kind of just like kind of just like frantically like like looking around if there's hey. anything you're looking for traps 
Uh, for looking for traps, just looking for anything. Minus, uh, minus 60 on these traps. Uh, what is it? Uh, awareness, scrutiny? Yeah, either one, whatever strongest for you. Uh, you don't see him. Yeah, that was like a, also a wrong roll, so me mega bad. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, it seems like whatever this is, is responsible for all of these traps. And if it's responsible for all of these traps, then that means uh, it must be taken out, right? Is that what your character is deducing? My character is deducing is that it must run from the from the th uh, lights and but uh, from the traps. But once they've stopped, he will just like uh, try to assess the situation and not necessarily engage this creature in combat because this is just a statue. If you describe it as a statue, that will just this statue. Really high. Mm -hmm. It's not something that uh, is posing a threat, so no, he's not gonna approach it just yet. He's uh, gonna be looking for any devices, any odd pieces, like, a, like more of those rocks, uh, any like older, you know, just anything that's odd. Mm -hmm. While he looks around, I'm just staring at the statue. Okay. Uh, Observing it very closely. Okay. Plus, plus 60. You see that it is looking at you, for sure. Me or Karnot? No, no, no. The one close to you is directly no, no, looking at this you. This guy. No, 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 no. This, is that statue you're looking at? Yeah, I'm looking at this guy. Oh, I'm, it's doing I'm nothing. I wanted to see if the eye is following Karnoth around. No, hasn't moved. All right. It's statuesque. I thought you were looking at the one closest to you. No. Okay. Then they ignore what I said. Unless you're going to look at that one plus 60. Sure. After I see that one does nothing, I'll look at the one next to me, I guess. You see that it is looking at you. Straight up looking down at you. And it has a faint glow in its eyes. Rare yes, but it's... A... Just a faint glow. You, you barely notice it. But it's a glow of red, blue, or green. <laughs> no, co no colors. It's just right. a faint glow. Like a glow-in-the-dark glow type of thing. Faint glow. And it's staring right at you. I'm looking for traps, looking for anything, because you said it was like minus 60. Yep. I succeeded. You see, you see a huge disturbance to your south. Huge disturbance. Where does you... it begin? I'll just draw you... Because yours wasn't that super successful, so I'll just draw you, like, generally where you might think it is. So anything south of that line, you're like, that's a trap. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You don't know precisely, but you're on the edge of it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. In that case, I'll go back and assess the other half of this. Ooh, you are lucky! Anyways, awareness? Yeah, I don't see anything. Nope! <sighs> And Moth, are you rel relaying that information to those guys, what you see? The statue over here is looking at me. Directly. I look at the statue right back. <laughs> Laser vision, you're dead. <laughs> well, I, this, uh... the, the traps have stopped. They're not trying to destroy us, question mark. I would... Weird. I would like to scrutinize the statue's facial features and determine if it's pissed off or not. It has the same facial expression as you saw coming in. Okay. But the eyes have visibly moved. Just the eyes, nothing else? Nothing else. Okay.
I don't really know what to do here. Uh, oh, whoops. Sorry, I didn't sit here. <laughs> but say. <laughs> uh, I never check. Yep, I don't see anything. Yeah, don't see anything. By the way, uh, how much longer did you guys want to continue? Probably end it here. Yeah, we could probably end it here. It's a good perilous spot. You don't know what to do. <laughs> Things are chaotic. Uh, Eric ladies can come and save the day. <coughs> could. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Or dude, or the Dreadnought, or who knows. The Dreadnought just coming to come in here to insta-die? Yeah, that'd be fantastic for Tesseract. Yeah, it just like drop pods through the cavern on top of that, <laughs> the, like, eye On top of a trap. Yeah. And just land down a trap and die. Insta-die. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, I'm trying not to insta insta give you, but I'm trying to let you know how dangerous it is. And there's I set rules out for these things. One of them, I'm sure you noticed, Moth. Once you're trapped in the sphere, you're dead. Oh no. The the colors and the symbols, and that they don't intersect with one another. If you notice that as well. Yes. Otherwise, yes. you'd be dead. But you do know, as a player and probably as a character, what's about to happen if you don't get out of that thing so soon. Yes. Uh, it moves or it shrinks. Or it turns red and blasts a big giant laser like the other two. Yeah. That's why I haven't picked up a rock and tried to bounce it on the inside to see what happens. <laughs> I imagine it would oh. accelerate to the speed of light covered the entire thing and I turn it into giblets. <laughs> Well, Currently, would, you're just trapped, and this thing is staring at you. It would accelerate to 99.9999% the speed. Yeah. Whatever it is, it would turn the entire column inside a bright white. Yep. You're basically playing Lifu League with yourself right now, yeah. Yep. Alright. How much XP for that one? Uh, let's give you 2,500. 2,500. 2500. Yeah, that was, that was pretty pretty intense. I was trying to make it puzzly, but not like too thinky, brainy type of thing. I was like, ah, let's just keep it simple. Combination lock, deadly traps, uh, false false combinations. Yep. Cause the first one was a false combination puzzle. Yep. And depending on how, what order you pick those rocks up in. Honestly, had you failed to pick them up in the correct order, it would have been just permalocked. Oh, so like, we got it's essentially saying we got very lucky, extremely lucky. Because I actually had the combination on WordPad up to my left hand side for that and the other door. I was like, I wonder if I get it. I mean, I like, at this point, to be moved. At, huh? at this point, maybe uh, it would have been best if we got locked out, because then we wouldn't be dealing with all this shit. <laughs> exactly. Ugh, just so you know, I put rewards to match this yeah. level of fuckery. All by right. the way. Usually, instant death shit for Boko also has crazy fucking broken rewards at the end. Okay. I'm yeah. okay with this. I'm, I'm not kidding. When when Parker did that mech thing, he was he had to roll like, what was it? Three perfect hundreds in a row, and he did. <laughs> yep. And he got the super crazy fucking mech that oh just God. broke our entire run. <laughs> and then he got to make more of them because he backwards engineered them later. <laughs> oh Jesus! Something like that. He was—he was—he went crazy. All and right. Then he the black hole and all that. All yeah. right. Well, thanks for playing, guys. That was fun. I'll see y'all next week. Sure. Yep. See you next week. You guys—you guys gonna be playing some other games? Hell